Hey guys, back out from a pad here. I wanted to come on real quick to show you one of the most horrible, deadly pests of the garden that looks so innocent. It looks like a, um, a clump of brown dirt, but these are actually aphids that have infested my, my um, long beans. And you can see here, one of their enemies, a ladybug, is trying to eat them, but you can tell this is just way too many aph aphids for one or two ladybugs. So every corner, what they like to either eat at the tips of the plants or they like to eat where the blossoms come out. So every joint is where the blossoms from the long bean will come out. And I see, I've already power washed some of these off. So there are a couple ways to get rid of these horrible creatures. Let me, let me try to zoom in here. It's very hard to focus. Let's see, let me try and zoom in here. Okay, there they are. So these are the horrible aphids. So there are two ways to, to, to get rid of these. You can use neem oil, which a lot of people have in their garden. But when it's this much, guys, tell the truth, when it's this much, I just power wash them off. Let me show you what I'm, I'm gonna do. I, I already did quite a bit that was here. This was completely caked with, um, with these aphids. So the most organic way that you can get rid of this is just to power wash them off and you don't want to damage your plant so you can put it not on the highest jet screen uh, let's see what setting we're gonna have just put it on a setting that is strong enough to wash them off when you wash these off they, they won't come back so look at that I'm washing them off really really well and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back the next few days and just and just make sure that anything that I missed are washed off so that's how easy it is to get rid of your aphids I probably washed off some ladybugs but the ladybugs will find their way back up but the aphids are soft bodied creatures they will not find their way up and I'm going all the way up each plant even the ones where I don't see any aphids I'm going all the way up Yeah, because I see even above the arch, I see aphids. Then make sure, go on the back side, because you see there's some hanging out on the back. So I'm going all the way around the plant, the front and back. Once you knock them off the plant and they're on the ground, they are dead. Very soft, but it's very easy to kill. You can even just squish them. If it's a small plant, you can even just squish them. Um, you even can even squish them in between your fingers to kill them. But the water is a great way to kill aphids and soft-bodied um, creatures. All right, guys, follow me for more tips. Um, I can tell we're going to be battling these pests. Life of an organic gardener. And here it is. This is the after. All the aphids are gone. So hope you enjoyed this tip guys you can see at every joint there's gonna be blossoms coming out so I did this just in time if I oops I missed some I missed some right there missed some right there let me get it so guys the, the unfortunate thing is if you don't do this if you don't do this they literally suck the life out of your plants and you won't get any fruit so you might be like me you might you know, be planting your peas, your string beans, and everything looks green and beautiful. Then all of a sudden, they start looking weak, and then you don't get any string beans. And you're like, hey, I only got three string beans. What's going on? Guys, check for pets. That's why it's important to come out here as often as you can. You know, ideally every day to check. Ideally every day to check for pets. I don't get to come out here every single day, but I do try to come out every day and it makes a huge difference. Your garden will love you and thank you for it. All right, so that's it. That's it for the aphids. They're all gone and I have a nice healthy um, yard long bean plant that's going all the way up the trellis and over. Till next time guys, bye now.